Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have a massive issue to talk about today in the video regarding EA Sports giving back packs for free. Yes, they are going to be giving packs out to people that opened them in a specific time frame when they made a mistake. EA Sports made a mistake with the loading screen that was posted on this game on Friday. Now, I know you guys may have heard something about this. You may have seen the EA tweets talking through the situation of how they're going to compensate people for their mistake, but this is gonna have insane market impact whenever this is resolved. So I wanna talk through the situation. It's not like it's gonna be today or tomorrow. It's probably gonna take them it might take them a whole entire week because the amount of people that were impacted by this mistake that they made is going to be incredibly insane. But I want to talk about that whole thing today on this game and as well look at Sunday content inside of the headliners promo. Of course, yesterday on Saturday, we had a Julian Brandt SBC, which to be honest, it's like 60,000 coins. If you're a Dortmund fan or if you're a German Bundesliga fan, this card is it looks okay, right? And that's just how I think a lot of people feel about this. It looks very okay. Yes, of course, it is live. If you would get an inform, it would upgrade. If Dortmund would win four games in a row, this car would upgrade. But that continues kind of the role of just the very average content people are feeling through this headliners promo at the moment. We're also looking at a potential Aubameyang SBC today and the end of the showdown Kovacic versus Kieta because that game is taking place today on the 2nd of January. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, leave a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe if you are new. Let's get into this big issue that's going to be impacting the market very soon with EA giving some packs back. So just a quick rundown on how this came about. On Friday at the content drop, 6 p.m. UK, when headliners started, whatever the content drop time is for you, that's when this issue happened because EA Sports put up a loading screen that showed Aaron Ramsdale's headliner card as in packs and it was not supposed to be in packs from Friday at 6 p.m. UK. And that's what they outline in this couple set of tweets here. Say earlier today, headliner Aaron Ramsdale was incorrectly listed as being available in packs. Upon discovering this issue, they have made the player item now available. So they put him in packs. Um, and of course, he's like discard in price because that's really how much he's worth on this market. But players, uh, who people who are opening packs during that time frame, you know, EA was advertising that Ramsdale was in packs because on the loading screen, it showed Aaron Ramsdale as one of the headliner items, one of the cards from the team that was in packs. So that's where the issue is, right? EA has to do something about this because when you loading loaded into their game, people were probably opening packs trying to get Ramsdale. Uh, and obviously he was not in packs. His headliner card was not in packs. So that's false advertising on EA's sense. And from what we've known in the past, EA does not take false advertising or when they say something is in packs and it's not, they don't take those situations lightly and they always compensate people who are opening packs or who pack the wrong version of that player during that time frame. So this time frame they're talking about while the issue was active, I believe it was about a two hour time frame uh, because I think it was two hours after the content drop, they took that loading screen down. And even right now, if you load into FIFA, at least for me, it doesn't show a loading screen talking about headliners or anything like that. So they've kind of removed that. Um, but that's a lot of packs that were open during that time frame. So let's keep reading, right? If you packed a silver Aaron Ramsdale, you're going to get his headliner card, right? You know, that's going to impact some people, but probably not as many as a second part. Players who opened packs that could contain rare gold player items while the issue was active will receive a pack of the same type for each pack that they opened. This is insane. We have never seen a level of compensation that would impact the market or impact the game this much. Now, we have had some compensation before. If you guys remember the freeze, the versus, uh, not freeze cards, the versus ice and fire, like when they did uh, ice Gabriel Jesus was when the ice cards were taken out of packs prematurely on a Thursday, uh, then they gave everybody back the ice cards that they should have packed during that time frame. This impacts way more people because if you legit opened any single, any packs, if you opened like any packs inside of FIFA on Friday at the most popular time, like most people are on the game at that content drop time for the next couple hours, 
uh, if you open any packs, you're going to get those packs back, right? They're probably gonna show here under the like my pack section in the next few days when EA writes this issue and makes it correct and compensates per se. And just think about how many people and how many packs are going to be given back, right? Let's say you saved up packs like an 83 times 25 or an 85 times 10 or any of those big time packs that people had saved from either winter wildcard swaps or from icon swaps. They're going to be getting those packs back into their clubs to open again, um, you know, as a compensation from EA Sports. And let's say you open lightning rounds, right? If you open 50, 100, 125,000 coin packs with FIFA points or with coins, you're going to be getting those packs back as well. So whenever they release these packs, all these people that open packs during this time frame are going to have brand new packs just sitting there ready to be open. And, and what that's going to do is if these headliner cards are still available in the game, when this compensation happens, Literally, these cards are going to drop in price, just like we saw. Again, I keep referencing this uh, Gabriel Jesus and all of the versus ice cards, right? There was an issue with these ice cards on Thursday, December 16th, and they weren't compensated until Tuesday, December 21st. So it was a five-day period. But look at what happened when they released these cards back onto the game, right? They all dropped a ton. I honestly think that's going to happen with these headliner cards. Now, I know EA is not giving out these cards onto the market. But what they're doing is they're giving out packs and that's going to be so much supply that comes on the market. Whatever is in packs at this time when they fix the issue um, is, is going to get supplied so much and it's going to drop off in price. It's going to basically be a little, you know, kind of midweek market crash. And it's probably going to, it's going to affect the most the headliners cards, the current team of the week, um, whenever this is is fixed, we're going to know because a lot of people are going to get packs back because so many people open packs during this time frame. It's going to impact the market and it's going to drop a lot of prices. Now let's talk about timing, right? They say it will take some time to identify the impacted players and will provide an update early next week after investigation. They will provide an update early next week. Now this was tweeted on Friday. Also on Friday, one of the devs for EA Sports FIFA tweeted out. He said, please note that the early next week verbiage in this tweet on the next update, and that would likely be to provide further clarity on the timeline. He said, this will take multiple days to work through, likely well into next week. Want to ensure no surprises when this isn't done by tomorrow. So the way this words and the way the original EA FIFA Direct tweet words, in my opinion, we're going to have some sort of information from EA either Monday or Tuesday talking about, hey, we're still working on this issue and you haven't seen your packs being given back yet because I doubt it's going to take them a couple days. If it took them five days to figure out what people needed to get these versus ice cards when they messed those up a couple weeks ago, I mean, it's going to take them five days, if not like a week and a half to figure this out because this impacts way more people in my opinion than the whole versus ice and fire situation with those cards having uh, an issue as well this is going to take a while it's going to take in my opinion it's going to take five to seven days maybe even longer so this isn't something that's going to impact the market right away but a couple things that we know about whenever EA has to fix issues like this, it's gonna happen during the nighttime. It's gonna happen during the nighttime, right? I don't know if you guys remember when this Gabriel Jesus, the price range was updated on this card or on any of the versus ice cards um, that were in packs during that time frame. They all dropped and this issue was fixed during the late night hours. The late night hours of the game, I think it was like that Wednesday night into a Thursday, Gabriel Jesus went from 800,000 coins to 500K. Uh, Valverde went down like 300,000 coins. Adama went down a bunch. Like all these cards crashed in price because they were given back out and the compensation arrived. So one thing that I would count on with this um, packs being given back as well, it's going to happen in the nighttime and it's going to cause a lot of supply and it's going to drop a lot of prices on the market because people are going to get those packs and they're going to open them. The other thing to think about is if they don't fix this issue, until team two of headliners is out, then that's going to be crazy for the market this next week. Because yes, as you can see on like the, on the little, like uh, little graphic here, it says headliners team one right here, right? So we are expecting a team two for headliners. If they can't fix this issue in the next five days and they push it off until next weekend, 
then the headliner team two cards are going to get destroyed in price from whenever they put these packs back out onto the game so it's a crazy situation never seen it before um it, some of you guys might be wondering if i saved player picks for these headliners uh and open those will i be getting those back as well you know in my opinion i think ea should redeem those because those are giving you a 78 plus item uh, a 78 plus rare item so since that has a rare item in the description i think they should give back player picks um, but they only say packs in the tweet. So we will see. But if you save player picks and open some of those, I really hope that EA give that stuff back. So that's the whole situation. Again, we know it's going to affect the market, but it, it's going to have to, we're going to have to see when they actually make the fix, uh, what day it is, because if it is before Friday, when these cards go out of packs, then yes, these cards are going to get supplied because a lot of people are going to open packs. Fodder is going to get supplied. Um, you know, basically anything that is in packs is going to take a hit because it's going to get supplied way extra than it normally would. Again, you just think about so many people that open lightning rounds with FIFA points or with coins or open saved packs or icon swaps or winter wildcard swap token. It's crazy how many people this impacts. So we're going to wait for that. We're going to keep watch out for it. So I guess you have to be a little bit careful this week if you're owning any of these headliner cards. Um, but I wouldn't really worry about this until we get later on in the week because seriously, this is going to take EA a long time to fix. And I honestly think that it's not going to be before Thursday or Friday um, of this week until they get it done. Maybe even later than that into this next weekend. But we have to remember this because the market impact is going to be so big. We have to keep this in mind, especially related to these cards that literally at any time later on this next week, they could crash in price with some supply. So keep that in mind. Be very careful. And if that if this issue impacts you at all, you're loving it, right? Because, you, you know, you're like, OK, Ramsdale, whatever. I would have taken the card if I would have packed it. But um, a lot of you guys are going to get a second chance at opening some of those packs that you saved, or if you spent money, you're going to get those packs back for free, right? And that's the W part about this whole situation that EA is fixing with this game and with the whole debacle, but it's wild, right? And one thing to kind of remember is EA does not ever mess around with, um, you know, false advertising. If they say something's in packs and it's not, we've learned for sure this year that they don't mess around with that and that they compensate and they give back when they make a mistake like that so I, other thing i'll say about this is too ea you're making a lot of mistakes this year i mean can we tone it down please i mean th that's two times now in the past month where they have made a huge mistake impacting so many people on this game um and it's it's been a lot of mistakes uh recently so yeah ea come on get it together please a little bit that would be nice i know it's the holiday period we'll cut you a little bit of slack and you're compensating people very nicely here but this is like another reason that you're gonna you're gonna do another thing that would hurt the market and kind of crash the market in a sense. So, anyways, just crazy. But if you did get packs back, or if you will, it is a huge W. So, speaking of headliners, though, let's move into today's content on Sunday. I know a lot of you guys are probably on the game this weekend. Like, man, where's this mini release, right? What's gonna happen with the mini release? Because you know, I think the Ramsdale card was supposed to be a part of that. Well, since we have the team of players leaked already we're probably going to get the mini release today right sundays are usually a mini release day uh we've already had all of these cards added into packs of course including the ramsdale uh so today the mini release is probably going to consist of navary sangare and savernier and we have some leaked stats for of course we've seen navary's card already we know that one's going to be pretty dope but we have some leaked stats for savernier and i want to show you guys this card because this is a dirty looking item Eight, he's basically a hullet gang except for defense, 90 passing, and 88 dribbling. I'm getting like Pirlo vibes. You know, I know it's not Pirlo, but that's kind of how this card looks. That's a really sick card. So another French midfielder from the League Un. We've just had a couple of those into the game that are very popular at the moment, right? We have the Awar SBC, which I did. He's in my team. He's a fantastic card. I don't see him right now on the Footbin Popular page. But we also have Ginduzi. And Ganduzi is more of a defensive player, but he's still a French midfielder that is in the league on. And depending on how good this Savernier card is, and of course, just because he's coming into the game today, I think that this Ganduzi card is going to take a hit in price. I know he's out of packs, but, and I know this card is super duper popular and everybody is using him. 
and he's gone from like 100,000 coins to 217K. He's literally doubled in price. Um, but I think this card is going to take a hit in price. You're going to see some people panic selling this because this Savernier is going to come out onto the game and be a sort of a substitute item for this Genduzi. Now, if there is a lot of panic on Genduzi, that could be a potential trade scenario. But I think what you're going to see is today on Sunday, you'll see a few people that will sell this card just because this, this is going to be a very cheap item. You, mean, you look at the whole team of headliners and see how cheap some of these cards are. Um, Acuna is 77K. Carrasco is 90,000 coins. I know that the mini release cards are more rare because they're released on a Sunday and they don't have all the packs from the Friday and from the Saturday. But this card's going to be decently cheap. And I don't know, is Savernier, is he like four star, four star? Because that would impact the value as well. Do we have Savernier? Teji Savernier, he is four star, four star, high medium work rates. He's got long shot trait flair long passer playmaker and outside foot man this card with a plus two with these stats already that's going to be a pretty dirty item look at those the agility balance pretty solid for a midfielder he's five foot eight average body type his passing is insane this is going to be a card that i think a lot of people will try out 90 aggression what yo that's pretty mad so he's probably going to feel really good in game with getting this card today and there's going to be a lot of hype for this item so I do think that some of your midfielders, specifically that Genduzi, could take a little bit of a hit in price because of him getting dropped on the game today. But other cards that will be released, again, we talked about the uh, uh, Savernier. We uh, have Sangare coming today and Serge Nabry. Serge Nabry is kind of a cool card. I don't know how hyped that's going to be, but um, his item, I would assume that Serge Nabry would be somewhere around the price of Nkunku, maybe a little bit cheaper um, on the market. But... Uh, that's kind of like for the headliners content today, what we would be expecting. Now there's another, um, potential leaked SBC, and this is also from foot sheriff, who is one of the guys that has been very accurate with some of the leaks. Now there's supposedly an Aubameyang, um, SBC that's going to be coming out today as well. And it's an Aubameyang moments SBC. I, I don't know if it's a flashback Aubameyang or an Aubameyang moments, but uh, potentially this SBC is coming out today and I don't know what his stats are, but if you can imagine an Aubameyang, I would assume it'd be like 87 or 88 rated. Hopefully they change his work rates to high low. Um, let me see if I can find anything about this Aubameyang really fast. Uh, I do have one right here. These, these are concept, right? This is a concept upgrade on this car. This is not legit or league stats at all, but Aubameyang is a pacey striker in the Premier League. He doesn't get that great of links, but as we've seen before, like remember the Zaha SBC? Zaha didn't have that great of links, but he had the five-star skills. He had a lot of hype. It was a really good card and it was very cheap. If they release an Aubameyang that looks like this today on FIFA, and maybe if they upgrade his work rates, if he's like high, low, if they give him a five-star weak foot or five-star skills for whatever reason, then uh, this card would impact the market a lot. I would be very careful today with some of your Premier League strikers um, because some of your Prem strikers might get hurt today in price if this Aubameyang is very good value, right? A lot of people remember Jamie Vardy player of the month from a few years ago um, because that SBC like destroyed all the strikers that are uh, on the game because of how good it was. I don't think an Aubameyang would have that type of pull if I'm being completely honest, but still you could have an Aubameyang SBC come out today that looks like that card with 94 pace that might hurt a guy like this Gabriel Jesus, or it might hurt like a Timo Werner road to the knockouts. It especially would hurt uh, a guy like Robbie Keane. I know these heroes are very cheap. They've dropped off in price a lot. How much is Robbie Keane? Like 150 K right now or something like that. Yeah. 140, 130,000 coins. You know, if the Aubameyang SBC is coming in with that sort of stats around this price or below, I think you're going to see a lot of people doing it because a ton of people have leftover SBC fodder in their clubs because right now everybody and their brother is waiting for an icon upgrade SBC, which we have not seen yet. So if, you know, that's also potential content that could be coming soon. Not don't know if it's going to be today or sometime in the next week, but there's people that are just waiting to see a icon SBC. And if they drop in a bombing like this, that might be a reason for some people to go and use some of that extra fodder that they have in their club to do that a bombing SBC. So um, that's kind of other content that we're looking out for today. Just watch out for all strikers in the game that could be affected because of that SBC. Of course, you've got the Kovacic and Kieta SBCs expiring because the game is today. 
I think actually, if you look at these cards, the, the SBCs expired during the game. They actually expired during the game today on Sunday. Um, cause the game is a little bit earlier than normal, I believe. So you might be able to actually watch the game if you haven't done these SBCs yet. And if you see a team that is kind of pulled ahead or looks like favored, you might be able to do this SBC if you really wanted to. I don't think these cards look really that great either. Um, honestly, they look really similar to the Savernier that's going to be coming out today or even like way worse than the Savernier because they both have high passing and, and dribbling. But anyways, if you're interested in either of those two, that's going to be expiring today in this game. You know, one thing I want to say really quickly about headliners as well is they're really pulling back on the lightning rounds. If you guys remember, we had like the 85 plus star packs, the 80, 86 plus star packs during the whole winter wild cards promo. And they were doing lightning rounds around the clock. They really have not been doing that with this promo. They'll do the first three hours, like uh, Friday and Saturday, they did 50K, 100K and 125s. Then they stopped. So I don't know if that's going to continue on Sunday. We'll see if they up the ante at all anymore. But it seems like they're really on all aspects. They're kind of taking a step back with this headliners promo in terms of the content, in terms of the lightning rounds, in terms of literally everything, except for the objective of uh, Philippe Anderson uh, on this game, because this is the best card out of this whole entire promo, in my opinion. So that's kind of what we're expecting today. Again, I want to talk about that EA giving the packs back because that's just kind of wild. I know that's been talked about a bit and that was on Friday, but we hadn't spoken about it here on the channel. So I definitely had to do that. And then of course it could be a nice Sunday on FIFA. We will have to see if they step up the level or step up their game with any SBCs or content today in FIFA on this Sunday. So if you're enjoying the videos, again, make sure to hit a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate, the foot accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.